Okay everyone, in this video uh, we're going to do replace background exercise and I'm starting with this photo of Marie Curie and as most photos, anything above I believe anything beyond 70 years is uh, the copyright has expired so uh, typically, working with old photos is a, a go, unless it's something that is uh, reinforced or re-copyrighted. But even though, so because this photo is maybe a bit older, or maybe low quality, you can already see by not zooming in too much that it is a bit pixelated. And if I hide this, compared to the photo in the back, the uh, Marie Curie photo is uh, a little bit fuzzy. So to counteract that, what I'm going to do is go to my transform tool and I'm just going to make it smaller. Really, whenever you get photos that are pixelated like that, they should be smaller to uh, offset the low resolution. Now, I, I can move her around later, but the idea is, in this image, I'm going to cut out the background around my figure, Marie Curie, as well as I can, so that way the background will be this photo, which is a photo that I took of just some trees. I don't even know what species it is. Let's get started. So one way we can do this, uh, first of all, I'm going to lock my background layer because I don't want to accidentally mess with that. So that's locked, right? With the Marie Curie photo, anytime you start working on a layer, it's always a good idea to just duplicate that, la that layer and then hide it. So that way you have an original copy. Just in case something goes wrong with the copy that you're working on, that's just best practices. That saved me a lot of time. For this, I'm just going to take my eraser tool. Oh, okay. So whenever you start to erase or use any kind of pixel brush on an image layer, it'll ask you, Adobe Fresco will ask you, to convert it to a pixel layer and you do want to convert and if you notice the little symbol next to the layer on the right hand side will change to the pixel layer the other two images that we have locked and hidden those are still image layers so if it asks you to do that you do want to convert it so let's see where my eraser tool is at. Okay, so one one thing I can do is just use the eraser tool. Now because I do have that background showing, um, I think it's actually going to be easier if I get rid of it. So that way I can see the stark white. And that's going to give me a lot more contrast than trying to erase with the, a background that's fairly similar in colors and uh, lots of different textures, very busy things going on in the background. So we're just going to hide that. The one way that you could do this is by erasing as close, whoops, as close as you can. Following just the edges. This can be, this can give kind of a smooth effect. So uh, if you want kind of a, let's see, what type of eraser do I have? So I have a hard round variable eraser. So that means that the lighter pressure I have, the smaller the eraser will be. But, in the, and this is with if you have uh, a stylus that'll support this. But if I press really hard, then it'll be really large. Um, you may not like that. You may just want it to be the same pressure sensitivity the whole time. Uh, or you just choose a different brush that doesn't 
um, that doesn't counteract that. Now, if I want a softer edge, let's say if I want to, let me go soft round opacity. Ooh, so that's really soft. Now this isn't really getting rid of what I want it to. Oh, I don't want the size up. I want the, oh, okay. But let's say if I wanted to go back in and soften up some of these edges a little bit more, it's kind of hard to see, but it's very subtle. So there's different, there's different ways that we could do this. I'm going to go back to my hard round variable because that just gives it a nice clean cutout. So another way that I could do this is going to my lasso tool and my selection tool. I can very carefully draw a line So if I let go of the lasso tool, it'll just be open. It'll give me the selection of cancel lasso, close lasso. I don't want to close it. I want to continue it to involve this whole chunk over here because I'm deleting that. And now I've closed it. Now I can just erase. So if I deselect the lasso tool, I got that whole section. Um, it's really just depends on your preference. Even if I go through with the eraser tool, I like that the eraser tool gives me and control the edges a little bit better. I think with the lasso tool, it, you kind of get more of a rounded generic cutout, but for some people it can be faster. Regardless, even, even though I'm using the eraser tool to go up really close to the, um, the figure, I will be going around afterwards with the lasso tool to just erase the rest of the background because it is faster or if you just want to have a very nice therapeutic erasing session you can just erase it yourself so
So if you don't know, Marie Curie is the scientist who um, discovered radium, you know, which radium is, you know, gives off radiation. So she is the beginning of any kind of knowledge of what we have of radiation, how to use it as energy, um, but at the time we didn't really know the effects. So she actually ended up dying later on from the radiation poisoning, just from working with radium. There's a there's a biography written by one of her daughters, I believe, um, and it was an older biography. After some cleanup, that's it. We're all done. That is how you replace the background in Adobe Fresco.